It's that time of year to think about cleaning your tools for the winter. I'm with Wayne Sutton from Steel. Hi, Wayne. Hi there. And so, you know, there is some things that we should do with for our tools just so that they're working good the next time we need them. So what should we be doing? Well, at this time of year, it's a good time to think about getting them ready for the winter. And to do that, the key thing and what most people think about is the fuel. Mm. And the fuel spoils. If you're going to not use the machine for 90 days, you definitely want to get that fuel out of there because that's about the shelf life of fuel these days. And that could really ruin that engine and then you can't use that machine again. Well, that it costly repairs oh, sure. and that's what we're trying to avoid. And so the best way to get around that is to first remove all the fuel out of the tank of your equipment, whether that's a chainsaw, a blower, hedge trimmer, trimmer, it doesn't matter. When you do that, make sure to use a funnel and a can and properly dispose of it oh, when, you're, when mm -hmm. you're done. And then once that's completely empty, you want to take a product like this, mm -hmm. that's, this is Steel's Moto Mix, and this is a specially uh, patented fuel that actually is extremely good for the engine. So you put a little bit of this in the tank, start the piece of equipment, and then just let it idle until it runs out. And that's going to leave it protected so that in the spring it'll start right up again. Oh. And if you don't use the equipment a whole lot, you might as well just use this all the time because this stuff is fantastic fuel. And really have a good long, long life for your machines here. Your absolutely, tools. absolutely. And is there something we should do, for, especially for a chainsaw, for the, the chain itself? Yeah, there is. Any piece of equipment with a cutting uh, attachment needs to have some service. And in this case, you take the barn chain off of the saw, clean the entire area, make sure that the chain is lubricated and then when you store it, make sure to store it in a nice, safe place where the kids won't get to it. <laughs> and uh, and uh, in the spring, when, when you get to use it again, it should start right up and run, and your chain will be nice and lubricated and not rusted. Hedge trimmer is the same thing. You want to lubricate that blade so it doesn't rust up over the winter. Oh, and I noticed you have some gloves on. Should, is that something that we should think about? Absolutely. When you're doing this kind of stuff, always wear gloves. Protect yourself. Things are sharp, you know. <laughs> also, uh, on the chainsaw, you would think that you've purged the tank of all the gasoline, but on the other end, the oil tank, you want to leave it full. Because if you uh, drain all the oil out, things can dry out in there and maybe not work in the spring. And then what do we put for there, for that section? The, the bar oil. Okay. normal bar oil in there yeah all right and then you know this is lovely and i love hearing all about these tools but it's still a lot of work for me so do you have any other kind of tools that i could use in my garden well you know there's a new answer to that and it's a really good one all right how about something like this okay this is a battery power oh, blower fantastic. that all you have to do is give it a push and away you go <laughs> and best of all the battery on it also fits a lawnmower a string trimmer, a chainsaw, a high reach tool, all sorts of things, very same battery. So you just buy one battery and you can run all the tools. Oh, that is fantastic. You people at Steel have everything kind of covered. We're trying to do that, yes. <laughs> and so I do notice that you have some safety equipment here, so we always have to remember safety. Absolutely, and it's also a good time of year. If you have a pair of shaps for your chainsaw, Go ahead and wash them. Get them fixed up. They'll be ready for spring again. They're okay to wash. Ah, that is good. And ear equipment, ear, ear plugs too. That's right. Hearing, eyes, and wear all the safety gear that's available because it's better be safe than sorry. Um, we want to be able to garden all year round and be healthy for that. That's right. Well, if you have any other questions, please go to gardentime.tv. We'll cook you over to the Steel website, and you can find out all about these great tools for your garden. Thanks so much, Wayne. Thank you.